Hello, and you join us for the first round of Race of Champions this week. Uh, today we have Pascal versus Tim. Uh, lining up on the grid, Pascal will take the lead on the first grid race. And remember, this is the best of two races. So we're just waiting for them to leave the grid in a moment. Three, two, one, go. And let's have a look at the starts. Good start initially from Timmy, but then he starts losing back a little bit of pace there. Uh, maybe losing a bit of grip. Now remember, that these cars are standard AMG Mercedes. No Bantzer power. Uh, sorry, Bantzer power is on and no setups. So they're also on racing hard tyres. So it's not going to be a, a simple case of just floor it and go. So coming out the first chicane, Pascal seems to be stretching the gap a little bit. What can Tim do down to the second chicane? He's going to have a little bit of a slipstream in here, so maybe you might be able to pull up alongside Pascal. Check in with Pascal. Is he going to go defensive? We don't know. Let's find out. Going down into chicane. Tim's looking aggressive, but Pascal's got him covered. Look at Pascal, you've missed the chicane. Oh my love, he's blown, blown the chicane. Put, maybe Tim. pushing in a little bit hard. He was under pressure from um, Tim, but he's gone in way too deep into the chicane, and now he's just losing time. He's nearly four seconds down already from that one small mistake. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. This race of champions, maybe not about who's just outright fastest, but who can be consistent, who can adapt to the car, who can adapt to the track the best, the quickest. Let's try and get some timings up on here. Oh, technical issues as always. Um, don't worry about it. So Pascal, going into uh, coming into the chicane, uh, the Ascari chicane, going onto the back straight. Looks like Timmy's got a uh, commanding uh, position right now. Now, what is his mindset? He's got one more lap to do. Does he push hard and hope Pascal makes another mistake? Does he back off and just make sure he doesn't make a mistake? But then he's going to let Pascal close up that gap. Down into the parabolica, onto the brakes, and then off the brakes, hit that apex nicely, and it should be down on the power now, going up down to the main straight of the Monza circuit. Tim's already crossing the finish line, so that gap is extending by the looks of it, which is a shame for Pascal. But remember, the second race, if he can pass Timmy, but then manage to uh, bridge a gap that's bigger than the gap that he leaves on the end of this race, then he's going to be the winner. So it's still all to play for. Timmy coming out of the first chicane, nice and smooth there, looks like he's in control, Pascal's got a push, there's nothing more that he can do other than push, if he tries to uh, stay consistent now and try and limit the mistakes, he's just potentially going to open up that gap even more. Down into the second chicane, now this is where Pascal made the uh, mistake on the first lap, has he corrected the mistakes on, on the brakes like that, what's that, 150 marker? and nice and smoothly through that chicane, hopping over the kerb. So he's definitely still pushing. Um, it's just, is the damage already been done? You can see Tim's coming into the uh, Lesmo 2 already, going on to uh, the straight between between Lesmo 2 and the Scarra chicane. So, and he is ex increasing that gap. Come on, Pascal, get this hammer down, put a bit of pressure on Tim, and let's see if you, if you can get him to buckle. Tim up and up to the Scottish cane. You can see Pascal as Pascal's evidently had an issue through uh, the Les Lesbo too. Oh man, what's happening, Pascal? Maybe trying a bit too hard. He's got to try, uh, but maybe trying a bit too hard there. Yeah, you can definitely see he's definitely pushing, but maybe those couple little mistakes that in a longer race you probably wouldn't be punished that badly for, but in this short format, quick format, it's all about adapting he's getting punished quite hard. So the gap is out to well over 10 seconds now. Tim is already heading for the finish line. Not put a foot wrong so far, crosses the finish line. And Pascal's what, uh, 14 and a half seconds almost down on uh, Tim. So Pascal, you gotta bring it for the second race. Coming across to the start finish line. He doesn't seem as fast as he should do. Come on, get the pedal down. You're losing a little bit more time here. And he ends up 17 and a half seconds almost down. Now that's going to be a mountain to climb in the second race. But congratulations to Tim for taking the first race victory. Well done there. Um, Pascal, unfortunate on the two mistakes there, but you got to bring it on the next race. And we're into race two, so we're just waiting for them to line up. Now this is reverse grid now, so Pascal is starting second because he started first on the first race. So he's got it all to do. Let's go on board with Pascal. Again, a good initial start. Timmy's struggling with traction there. I can see those 
big fat tyres on the Mercedes AMG spinning around. So Pascal's up into first. You need to cover this line over. Get over that side, Pascal. Come on. He's letting Tim back into this. Oh, Tim, Tim thinks twice though. Going through the first chicane. Nice and tidy. Now on the power, on the power. Come on. Now Tim, Tim's following his foot uh, tracks, or wheel tracks, and you can see Tim's looking out for that slipstream. This is a long sprint down to the first corner. Now remember, this is where Pascal had the issue on the first lap. So, has he learnt from the mistakes? Has he learnt where to break? Let's go on board. Tim's looking aggressive. Tim's gone down the inside. Has Pascal break, break too early? Maybe that mindset from the first lap is maybe affecting, but he's getting a good exit, but just not quite enough space by the looks of it. No. Tim knows there's only a, a short braking section as he goes into Lesmo 1 underneath the trees and then powering out to Lesmo 2, a little wiggle from Pascal. Now he's got another long straight here so he's got to focus on the exit. You need to be closer to that curb Pascal, come on. And then he's getting the power down. So going down to the Ascari chicane, he's dropping back a little bit. That's where he needed a good exit, he needed to get in the slipstream and power up all the way up to the chicane and potentially get alongside. So Tim, up into the Ascari chicane, will stay on board with uh, Pascal a little bit longer braking hopping over the curb there very aggressive so we can see he's pushing he's got good lines there from Pascal and I think you know what he's caught up a little bit through that chicane there and he's definitely going to be in the slipstream in fact if we look at the top delta in the top left hand corner we can see that it's dropping so he's got a, a better exit and b probably a bit of slipstream as well down under the brakes of Palabrasica closing up Tim's taking a, a normal line he's just got a push Tim knows if he wins this he's won it's only if Pascal can get past he's won and Pascal's got to get past and make a gap now onto the main straight Pascal again sitting in the slipstream he's getting sucked along can he make a move into this first corner now this is the prime overtaking spot is this going to be a Daniel Ricciardo Tim kind of goes defence it kind of doesn't but he's on the brakes and Pascal just can't get is he waiting for the next straight come on good exit out of here you need to be close to that curb Oh, Pascal, that's a, that's a gravel. That's a gravel, not the tarmac. Oh, that's a, just draining away traction there. And oh, it, has, has that punished him? He, he needed to be, if he had a, a, been on all, all four tyres on the tarmac there, he could have got a good exit, maybe a, a chance down into this second chicane. But being on the gravel, even with the, the two right-hand wheels, he's lost all sorts of grip, all sorts of traction, and now... Tim's got, what, an almost two-second lead. Yeah, he's uh, flying through the uh, Lesmo 1, up, coming up to Lesmo 2. Pascal's hemorrhaging a little bit more time. Oh, I feel sorry for you, Pascal. I thought you had it there. It would have made a good race. I know if you can get in, in, in front, anything can happen. Tim makes a mistake, and that would have been you through to the next round. But it looks like Tim's commanding this race right now. As they fly down to the Ascari chicane, um, it looks like it was at almost a two and a half second gap. Now Pascal was fast through here before again f attacking those curbs. That's good to see. That's one thing that Monza is great for. If you want to attack some curbs, a little bit wide on the exit, but that shouldn't pe penalise him too much. But I think the damage is done. I think Tim's got this in in hand. It, he's measured Pascal. He's weighed Pascal, and he's been found Pascal wanting a little bit more energy, a bit more consistency there. And it looks like Tim's got this in the bag, powering down to the start-finish line. In fact, from Pascal's car, we can barely see Tim. And Tim crosses the line. That's a win for Tim. No penalty points. And that's a second place for Pascal with another three and a half second gap. So, congratulations to Tim. He takes a second win and a win overall. We will see Tim in the next round. Whereas Pascal, my friend, you'll be going home and hopefully we'll see you in Season 2. Well done to both of you and we'll see you, my audience, in race two.